Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on the video. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in quite a while. This is going to be a knife making video. So hope you'll stick around, hope you enjoy. He's a beast, man. Find another spot here over by these rocks. Okay, I know, I know, it's been a long time since I've done a knife making video. And uh, there's a myriad of reasons uh, why I haven't been doing any knife making videos. One of them is that I don't have a lot of time to make knives and uh, making a video and making a knife takes time, takes a lot of time. So uh, I've just chosen to just make knives and I've still been making knives and uh, not a lot of knives. I make maybe between 10 and 15 knives a year, sell them locally, a few to friends, different things like that. And uh, so uh, haven't had the time to make knives and make videos. And another reason why I haven't uh, made videos, uh, any knife making videos is because there is a lot of very good knife makers on YouTube with a fantastic work. They do fantastic work. They do great editing and uh, all this stuff. And I can't compete with that. There's no way. I can't compete with that in my dingy little shop. Uh, you know, no way. No way in, in, uh, in the world. But uh, that's just has, has kept me, I guess, from doing knife making videos. But today I decided I am going to try and make one. Um, basically, it's going to be not a long one, but just handle shaping how I shape a handle. And uh, what I've already done is I have already taken and I've ground the pins flat. That's, that's the very first thing that I do. Typically the pins will be sticking out a little bit. And uh, so this, this knife here has three pins and uh, typically will be sticking up. And so I'll, I'll grind those flat onto the grinder. And then the next step that you'll see me do is just to profile the handle. Uh, just go around uh, against the flat platen and profile it right to the steel. And uh, anyway, so stick around, hope you enjoy as we shape a knife handle. Okay, so moving along here, I uh, have to go very, very slow. This material is called Rich Light, and uh, it burns just, if you just look at it wrong, <laughs> it burns. And so gotta, gotta take it really, really slow, and uh, just uh, slowly, slowly profiling. You can see, just using the bandsaw, you can see the discoloration, I think, right there, the brown, uh, whereas this is a blue with a sort of a cream, uh, cream layers blue, and. Uh, it's called nautical, I think, uh, rich light. So it's very durable, very nice handle material, um, very cheap, very, very, you know, not, not, a uh, not, uh, very expensive, but, uh, man, it burns very quickly. So having to take my time, but, uh, anyway, that's the way you got to do it, I guess. Well, I have it just about down to the bare metal, all the way around, a little bit of glue in some of the areas. Um, this is a 40 grit belt that I'm using, and so I'm gonna switch to uh, just a finer grit belt, probably go to an older 60 belt, uh, 60 grit belt. One of the things, like I said, with this uh, Rich Light, it burns 
very easily. So I'm going to be, as I get to the final, more, uh, you know, the, the later stages of the handle refining, I'll be using some newer belts for sure. If not brand new abrasives, we'll see, uh, see what I have in my, uh, my uh, stockpile over here. But um, anyway, moving right along. So just going to switch to uh, 60 grit now. All right, well, time to change out my uh, flat platen. I'm going to use my uh, small wheel attachment now. So we'll get that, get that switched out here on my Vashti Grinders Shift. Love this grinder. Great grinder. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I think for this um, blade profile, I'm going to use this wheel. I think it's a one inch wheel. I forget. I only have three wheels. One's a uh, really uh, cheesy, cheap uh, one from China that I actually cut down, ground the rubber off, and uh, ground the shaft down, and so I could fit these uh, special bearings on. And the bearing, I, I ground it down too much here, so the bearing just slides off. But uh, anyway, it, I've used it like this for years. It, it sort of makes a funny rattling sound, and I don't run it very hot or very long, but uh, used it for quite a while. So hey, you know, don't have to have all the fanciest gear for knife making. Just uh, have what you uh, have and uh, use, make it work for you. Okay, well, the old GoPro 10 is getting dusty. But uh, anyway, I am pretty much happy with that right now. Got uh, bare metal all the way around, so you can see basically the whole handle profile. <coughs> this is uh, just a uh, large, enlarged version of my uh, small lemming model. I had a guy who ordered uh, one of those small lemmings, and uh, let's see, I might have, uh, let's see if I have that one in here. Yeah, right here. So this is the, the small version of my lemming. I haven't, uh, this has just uh, been heat treated, rough ground and heat treated. So that's the small version. And he had that with the blue, the blue rich light. And so then he said, hey, I want the big brother for that one. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, so I uh, just uh, kind of made it just a bit bigger. So anyway, uh, that's, that's what this model is. It's just a one-off. I don't anticipate making them in, making it uh, again, but uh, anyway. I think it's going to be nice. I, I think I just made the handle just a little bit longer. And uh, anyway, but that's the uh, original size. And uh, he's like, hey, make me make me one a little bit bigger. So that's what that one is right here. All righty. So the next step is I am going to uh, put the flat platen back on the Vashti shift. And uh, then I'm going to um, 
uh, just uh, sort of taper, do a slight taper on here so it's narrower here, wider at the back. Um, despite all my uh, efforts to try and not get blowout when I drew the holes, uh, drilled the holes, I got some blowout there as you can see. All right, so I got a brand new 80 grit, uh, I believe it's, I don't know what it is actually. I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of grit it is. It's green. It's it's not ceramic, but uh, um, it's uh, yeah. Anyway, it's 80 grit. So um, I'm going to uh, get my PPE on and then uh, go ahead and uh, start tapering that handle. Well, got the knife uh, pretty well tapered down to uh, just about where I want it. And so now I'm going to switch to my 12-inch uh, wheel and uh, begin the uh, sort of the final rough, rough shaping with that uh, the 12-inch wheel. Alright, so here is how it looks after I did that step there with the uh, 12 inch wheel, just sort of tapered, tapered the handle uh, sort of like that just so it fits a little bit better. And it's all just a slow, slow process of, of shaping that handle, smoothing it down. Hopefully I've got maybe like a 120, 120 grit belt and uh, going to uh, just kind of keep on refining that and try to get those uh, lines a little bit smoother and uh, keep on going. I'm heading on to the final step before hand sanding. And uh, the final step before hand sanding is I'm going to go to my uh, slack belt, uh, my slack belt platen. This is something that uh, I just uh, jerry-rigged myself uh, from my old Vashti grinder uh, 2x48. I used the uh, the C plate there or the V plate and uh, the wheels are still on that there. And then just uh, put, a, put a bar on there. Next step here, I'm just going to slowly fade in all these lines. Just gonna, gonna fade them all in together just so we get a nice uniform look. All right, so here we are in my super tiny micro shop. Um, it's basically a uh, six by five foot area and uh, do a lot of my hand sanding. So let's get hand sanding the handle. Okay, so just gonna go right to 220. Just some fairly cheap sandpaper. A trick that I like to do is put some tape here and uh, basically I'm gonna be cutting some strips and uh, keeps, uh, keeps the sandpaper together when you have tape on the back there, so. That's sort of the process there. Nothing too scientific about it at all. Okay, we have our two, a couple strips here, and then just like so. We got a pretty good finish off of the grinder, so this is just refining it. Once I uh, sand it this way, then I'll take uh, the same grit and just sand it this way, just uh, whichever way the, um, the, uh, the hand material, the natural lines in it, whether it's wood or in this uh, rich light, this rich light mark micarta, and I uh, just uh, to sand it this way now. So that's, that's the next step. Uh, so just another basic, simple technique just to uh, get these edges uh, flat right here and fairly even and get a nice finish on your uh, blade uh, spine there, the tang spine, just something like this. Just on a piece of leather just so there's a little bit of give. This isn't very soft leather, but uh, it works. And both sides just 
working it still with the 220 grit. Okay, next gonna go to 320, go to 320 grit. Simple little technique to get into the uh, inside curve here. Just got an old socket and just take uh, sandpaper, obviously wrap around it, hold it kind of tight and just work it in, work it into those edges. And finally, top it off, finish it off, 600 grit. Okay, we have come to the grand finale. On this knife handle here, I'll be using this uh, Bertrand Casey True Oil. And uh, I haven't used this a whole lot, but it's originally designed for gun stocks and uh but it uh it works really well on on micarta and all types of different stuff so uh let's go ahead and get this open don't want to spill it get a little on my rag here let's get going okay look at that makes those colors pop out that uh Sort of that cream look. And then the blue here in this rich light makes it pop. Makes it pop. I usually do a couple coats of this. This uh, probably will just be one coat right now. Let it dry. And then uh, as I come to the point where I'll, I'll finish the, the blade, um, I will do uh, another coat after the knife is pretty much all all done but uh yeah i'm really liking that look there that's uh really cool really neat really nice look at that shine could possibly even take it to the buffer if i want but uh i might not do that i mean i i went all the way up to 600 grit you know smoothed out very nicely and uh i'll give it a little bit of a look under a uh bright light here to double check but I think we're pretty good on this handle here Well, hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while. Good to record some knife making and uh, just uh, have a nice result in the end there. We will see you here again next time on New Man Explorer.